Well, hold on a second, and we should be here. Okay, there we go. Now we're going out over Facebook, supposedly. Uh, but this is I, this says I am, and that says I'm not yet. But now I am. Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. How are you? It is Monday. It is our little Monday get together of just a group of the nicest people you'll ever want to meet. And here, why don't you meet them right now? Let's uh, let's admit them to the uh, to the show. There's your uh, Charlie Wallace, George Wallace, Charlie Wallace. Uh, there's Charlene Solis. There's uh, there's a wife known as Marjorie Miller. <laughs> yeah, who's waiting for food to arrive? It's supposed to come at five, and now they say four ten. <laughs> well, what 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 service is that? Uber, Uber Eats. Uber Eats? Uber Eats? Oh, boy. I never used Uber. Uber sucks. Uber sucks. Uber, sucks. Uber Eats. Anyway, there's a... Oh, look who's with us once again. He never misses a show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the lovely and attractive, attractive Edward Berger. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And Len LaFrisco. Hello, Len. And Heather. Seen wit. And, of course, uh, Paula, our old friend, and uh, finishing off the group here so far, John Ewing. Um, we'll wait for other people to call during the hour. How you all doing? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a Monday. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. And uh, it's a, a kind of a, you know, it, it's it, 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 life is getting interesting, I think, you know. But we have what's called the... Uh, uh, the uh, convention, the Democratic National Convention, and it looks like it's a happy party. You know, it, it everybody looks so happy and joyous. And, 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 it's about time. Huh? It's about time. It's about time. Yeah, let me put on my earphones so I can hear you guys better. I Sometimes I try to hear you through the speaker, but if I turn it up too much, then I get feedback and I guess this is just as good here if I just turn it down a bit. There we go. Okay. So I'm not. Uh, ah, there we go. All righty. Oh, hey, Mike Chisholm is coming along here. Let's add him. Admit Mike Chisholm. Uh, so anyway, so, I mean, it's it's just, you know, it's a, it's a happy day today. Um, more good news for Kamala. Yeah, more good news for Kamala, and her her, her numbers are good too, right? Yeah. They just yeah. get better and better every day. So, yeah. Yeah. weren't yeah. Hillary's numbers good? I thought they were good. Were Hillary yeah, but James Comey is not in the. Uh... Yeah, yeah, remember there, that? Yeah, there isn't that mix. You know, at the last what, minute he decided before the election, he pulled that out. Yeah, yeah, ten days before the election, he did that. Ten days. And then two days before the election or something, he said, oh, we didn't find anything. Yeah. You know, um, there's nobody here to really screw it up. And she isn't in any kind of perpetual trouble. You know, uh, the, the the Clintons always had something about them that was constantly being assailed. I mean, when when they uh, were, he was running for president, there was a the whole, you know, thing about. Yes, he had problems with his zipper, as I recall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Monica didn't. <laughs> you know exactly where to go. And that's precisily why I like Monica. I'm a yeah. big Monica fan because she was good with a zipper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good, Paul. Very good. Well, I'm not the first one to say it. I know that. <laughs> well, and it won't be the last. Oh, that won't be the last. That will be uh, that will be Clinton's legacy when he dies. Oh, yeah, you know, he, he has a different problem. Yeah, yeah, that he got a blow job in the Oval Office. Well, he didn't get it in the Oval Office. That's in the what, hallway. In the hallway. No, no there's a, there was a kind of a room to the side of the uh, of the, the president's uh, private office. Yeah. yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, uh, that's too bad because uh, if I were president. OK, let's say tomorrow I was elected president and they take me into the Oval Office. The yeah. first thing, at least when I was younger, I would have thought of doing was getting a blowjob on the resolute desk. Yes. <laughs> sure, why not? I was looking at me like, that's Alex. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mar Marjorie's trying to figure out who's going to do it, though, because it's not her. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know. I, 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 if it were if Monica came along and came on to me, I would immediately fall in line, right? She was pretty. Yeah, yeah she. I mean, she was yeah. not. What? She's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, she's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, as years have gone on, she's become even more attractive. Yeah. You mm. know, and some of those TED talks she did, and a lot of the things she's yeah. written, terrific. Just yeah. an intelligent. What you know. A woman and uh crush on her then had a crush on her now also the stepdaughter yeah. of my ex-boss at wmca oh really yeah because um um monica Lewinsky's mother married r peter strauss after strauss's wife died and r peter yeah. strauss was my boss at wmca he owned the station wow yeah so uh that's my you know my what is it? Uh, six degrees of separation. Yeah. Monica yeah. Lewinsky. Yeah. So anyway, well, what am I talking about blowing here? Because you know this is a family show, right? No. Every week <laughs> I get to check. There's a thing I have to check, and I always put down no problems. You know, nothing. Nothing that was sexual, or no dirty talk, or nothing. And this week I can't say that. So. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think you can say that anyway. No. <laughs> well, no. You know, if I remember last week correctly. Well, it's the thing about about YouTube, okay, that bothers me the most about YouTube, and that is that they're constantly in a form of censorship. You know, oh, you can't say this, or you get demonetized, and you can't say that, you get demonetized, and that bothers me. You know. Are you home, Mandy? No, I've just decided to log in with my computer at work because I was on the phone with somebody else. Because it looked like you had different lighting there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a different. Because I'm on my camera, you know, on my computer. I don't usually do this so I can work. Yeah, well, here's something we've never seen before oh. because it's it's a much clearer camera. They have a whole bunch of pictures in back of you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, I feel like you usually can see that. Well, I just actually added a lot of pictures. Really? Well, yeah. I added that bookshelf, right? The little one. Oh, yeah. Did the boyfriend make the cut? No, because yeah. he's, no, he's here sometimes. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's not up there yet. All right. I added this uh, picture that I found with my parents. It's like an older picture, like when they were young. So yeah. it's like one of my favorite pictures. And that, and then some updated picture of my kids with their boyfriends now. So yeah. now the boyfriends are legitimate, but even though they've been with them forever. Aren't there some also right behind where your head is? There's a whole nother. Yeah, I just changed some of them out. They're just more okay, updated. Okay, because it looks a little different. Yeah. Yeah, I took down that huge one of my daughter um, from her senior picture because she graduated in 2013. She's like going to oh, be 29 geez. this week. I figured I should take down her high school picture. How old are you getting to feel when you fi figure out you've got a daughter who's 29? I can't believe it because I mean, because I was 29 when I had her. So it's it's really cool that she's going to be the same age that I was when I had her. Wow. My son's turning 29 next month, too. Or it must be very close in age. You know what's interesting is that yeah, you know, that that you waited till twenty nine. Was it your first child or your? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. Were, you were twenty nine to have your first child, and that yeah. that's uh, you know in this day and age it's kind of unusual. Most people try to have kids earlier. No, not 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 anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, definitely not anymore. She's not even married. My other one's twenty four, not married, but. I got. I didn't get married till twenty seven. Dated her dad forever, and we still got divorced after twenty five years. But <laughs> a lot of good that did. But Wait a minute, tw divorced after twenty five yeah. years. That's considered a. We gave it a shot. That's we gave it a shot. Yeah. No, but that's considered a successful marriage by today's standards. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. You got to almost figure that your first marriage isn't going to last. You know, that's the marriage where you have the kids and you, you know, do this and that. Right. And then yep. you decide because you got married at an early age, a lot of times in your early 20s, that you, by the time you've hit 30, you've so grown apart as people. Yep. 
that yeah. uh, we personally it wasn't an, we had a pretty good marriage up to like the last 10 years then it was just more friendly you know just same not really a marriage yeah i've had a, i had a pretty good this one's been pretty good until 10 years <laughs> Which one? Wow. This one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's falling apart. You know, it's going crazy. But I love Lynn's post this weekend about his wife. That was so sweet. What was oh thank you. Had what such a nice post us? about him. Well, well we, we went to high school together. Yeah, we went to high school together and then we're 30 years apart. And then we found each other in 2008, and she moved out here in 2012. And it was the anniversary of the day she drove into the driveway with her oh, kid and her cats. And it that's was just, a really nice story. Yeah, it it's crazy. You, you know, were we, boyfriend and girlfriend in high school. I mean, we hung out. Yeah, you hung out. Yeah, and then you went your way, and she went her way. Yeah, right? both got had 20, 20 plus year marriages each. Yeah, yeah, and then. You meet up with each other again. I found her on classmates.com, sent her, hey, how are you oh, doing? Wow. I always wondered what happened to you. Um, and she says, I'm living in Hartford. I'm married. I have three kids. I'm like, okay, well, good for you. And then she says, oh, and here's, I have the divorce papers in my hand. I'm filing them next week. <laughs> and my, 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 my divorce was final two days before that. I mean, oh, it's just wow. crazy. Crazy. Wow. Is that, that crazy? Meant, is that meant, meant to be. be. Meant to be. Meant to be. So yeah, we started talking on the phone and then doing video calls. And before you know it, she was uh, out here and we got married in 15. So it'd be 10 years anniversary. So you didn't January. let grass grow under your feet after you divorced your wife. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. You know, I when went, door, when she moved out here, the door closed. I was like. <laughs> I waited know? 20 years before I married again after the last marriage. Uh, this oh. was, this one, I knew this was the right one. We were yeah. just. We're so compatible. It's wonderful. Well, you, but you know that because you're older. You yeah, know, yeah, when you're yeah, 20, yeah. you don't know diddly. You know, yeah. you just know what your penis says. Yeah, you know? that's exactly right. So or, if, or if one person changes a lot and the other person doesn't really change. That's just, it was surprising that we came back time. together. Changes Did that happen with you where you changed a lot? But I he... was the one that changed a lot. I will admit. Wow. How, how, in what way would he have had to change to keep up? Let me have some say so and stuff we did. Oh, oh okay. So he was like, Dave Vance would not approve of that. Oh, so he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was a very nice person. He's just got to be in control of everything. Yeah. Oh, well, it's like Marjorie. They go good together. <laughs> Sounds like my first husband. <laughs> But uh, it was it's so it was really his his trying to control everything. That yeah, made, it just grew apart. You so know. you divorced him. He didn't divorce you. Actually, he divorced me. Actually, really? Oh. Yeah, because I moved out. So then he, oh. I moved out. We were going to go counseling, and then he got a girlfriend. <laughs> so. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah. Didn't waste and, time, Mandy. Huh? It, he didn't waste any time. No, two months. Wow. <laughs> Mm, They're still yeah. together. They're still together. They're still well, together. I mean, again, after. again, a relationship yeah. later in life has chances of lasting yeah. better than relationships early in life. Yeah. In fact, She's that's better your, suited for him. That's your have kids, uh, buy a house marriage. Okay. Right. That's yeah. the younger marriage. And then about 40, mm -hmm. things start to change. You know, yeah. your needs change. Your what you want to do in life changes, yeah. you know, and uh, I, you know, I, I think the first girlfriend I ever had or first wife, I, well, not my first, my first wife, that's a whole different story. My second wife, which was Ronnie, uh, I married because of sex and things like that, you know, but that wasn't meant to last because I wasn't finished uh, sowing my wild oats, as it were. You know, and I think that I really didn't do her any favors by marrying her. Mm. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but later on in life, I mean, Marjorie and I, I don't, I'm not going anywhere. You know. That's for sure. I'm, you know. <laughs> oh, be sure go about next time. Right. What did you say, Marjorie? I said, that's for sure. 
<laughs> and if he not. does go, he's not going very fast, so you can catch him. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I think I'm wiser about marriage, and I put up with a lot more, and I think probably she puts up with a lot more than she would in other marriages. And that's what marriage is all about, is putting up with stuff. And we're old. <laughs> well, well that's you didn't a have fact. to bring that part up. Well, but that's a fact. Yeah. So, right. so, so, so anytime we figure we're going to get divorced, we go, well, where the hell would I go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's you, learn, you learn about yourself. You learn how to be better in a relationship, all that stuff. It's okay. True. But now you're older, Mandy, now than you were, of course, the first time. Would you marry again? It's it's on the fence. Like, <laughs> Because this guy I'm dating, he's super nice, and I really love him a lot. But I don't know if I'll get married again. He's tough. I think he wants to, but do you have for to, a while? Me, Neither one of us are ready. To get let married. me ask you: Do you have to get married? No. See, I mean, you could spend your whole life together and never have to get married. Yeah, and I think that might be what happens. But I think he would rather be married. But we'll see. Why? Why is he? Is he one of the married? He's marrying traditional. Kind? He's, he's traditional. traditional. See, the yeah. thing is that that my attitude would be I when I, when Marjorie asked me to marry her because she asked me to marry her. And I asked them out the first time. <laughs> <laughs> like, duh. Well, she asked me to marry her and she did it on a, a leap year day. Leap day. I oh, did. yeah. Because that, that's I did. women can ask the man to marry them. Okay, Trinity. What do they say? So she said, yeah. Will you marry me? And what was my answer? Do you remember my answer? No. <laughs> Something to the effect of couldn't hurt. It wasn't romantic. No, it wasn't romantic. It was practical. You know, mm -hmm. like, well, why not? That's kind of mm -hmm. how I think of it. If it's, it would definitely be a practical thing as far as like combining we call this friends yeah. with benefits, mortgages, that kind of thing. <laughs> Well, not necessarily friends with benefits, because that that implies that you just know somebody, and every now and then you make a booty call. You know, yeah, no. uh, uh, this is more than friends with benefits. This is somebody that you care about, you love, you uh, <clears throat> you enjoy their company, but okay. maybe you don't want to ruin it by getting married. Exactly. You know, and 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 nobody says in this day and age, I don't know why anybody gets married, ex you know, because you, you can do legal things to make sure that you have all the legal ramifications of a marriage. Like if oh, you yeah. can pay, they get your stuff, you know, mm -hmm. you, you can take care of all that legally. Yeah, because my ex-husband's not married to that lady, even though they've been together like five years, they're not remarried. And I, I don't know why, but I mean, it's none of my business. I don't. You know, probably what we're talking about right now, you know, <laughs> right. in this day and age, why? Right. That's a big question. Yeah. You know? Well, children might have, have something to do with it. Well, you can have right. children without being married. Yeah, lots of people. Yeah, what? Know, but then when you get mad at them and call them the little bastards, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but like, it, like but Jeffrey, were you talking about maybe if there's older children involved? Like, yeah. Right. That's what I'm thinking because. Maybe he doesn't want to. I mean, they like mm -hmm. him, so I mean, I don't think they care if he remarried her. Yeah, or well, I mean, what do they expect? He's not married, right? He, maybe the possibility is he's going to marry again. Do you know the kids? Well, I don't know her kids, but I'm saying my kids. Why would they care if he got married? I mean, they like her. Yeah, so. yeah. But do you, for instance, is your uh, boyfriend's kids? Your boyfriend, I assume, had kids, right? Yes. Do they know you? No, I have not met them. Oh, no. really? Oh, okay. That'd be interesting to see how that dynamic works eventually. Yeah. Oh, everybody loves Mandy. Wait, wait. Not yeah, necessarily. Not necessarily, Charles. It's a sitcom on oh, CBS yeah. next year. Everybody <laughs> loves Mandy. Yeah. No. I mean, my, my wife's kids, you know, we get along great. They call me before they call their dad when they need, you know, advice about stuff. So that makes me feel really good. Yeah. That is know? nice. That's nice. Well, you're a good friend, is what you are. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and you probably never treat them like your kids. You know, no. that would be wrong. No. So that works. It when, might, when, when her, might when her daughter was, I'm sorry. What? I said when her daughter was 13, when they moved here, I never was a disciplinarian. I would just say if I saw some behavior, I'd go to the mom, my wife and say, 
she did this, you, you deal with it. And I'd walk away. Uh -huh. like she's not supposed to drive uh, other people in her car. And I saw kids getting out of her car in front of the house. So uh, I just mentioned it to her and the mom came to took the car away for two weeks. <laughs> I know, but you know, maybe, but you no, know. No, I'm just joking, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's, that's, yeah. that's how my stepdad was. That's why I had, I mean, he was great because he was kind yeah. of a disciplinary a little bit, but he was kind of the same way. I may be wrong about this, but I take it that Mike Chisholm, this is your only marriage, right? No, no, no. I, I, uh, I married my high school sweetheart. Um, and then after <laughs> about mid twenties, we had, grown into very different people and we just yeah, that happens and that's what it's all about you gotta wait till you're yeah. mandy's age yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow that old her, oh, marriage lasted, her marriage lasted 25 years that's yeah. no small amount of time yep. you know but it probably should have ended at like 15 <laughs> <laughs> okay well you know so, i mean and we dated for six years so we thought oh we're doing it right we're waiting to, we didn't live together we you know because we both came from divorce. You probably should have kept it that way. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. But, every, you know, yeah, I mean, and I'm, I'm ta saying this and I'm married. Okay. <laughs> you know, so. Oh, my God. Well, that, that, what do you, oh, my, what happened? What happened? Who, who did we lose? Oh, Charlie. Charlie jumped off and came oh, there, back there on. He um, um, what, what, what do you mean, oh, my God, Marjorie? What, what you just said. What? Forget what he doesn't remember. I can't remember either. Remember. I can't remember. That's why today. we're still married. We can't. <laughs> yeah. Every morning you wake up, there's a new girl in your bed. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're out day. Although I have to admit, she doesn't know this. Every night, uh, now and then, in the middle of the night, I notice her sleeping so deeply. I like uh, 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 get close to her to see if she's still breathing. <laughs> oh, boy. You know. Yeah. So, uh, so, have y'all not gone out in the park lately because it's too hot? No, because I can't walk up there that well. Well, I we walked up there yesterday and we got within a block of being in the park and we were going to do a little video. And Marjorie said, "I can't do it. I'm I'm feeling my stomach. My stomach hurts." So we turned around and came back. I walked all the way up there, you know. Mm. So you know, but we're, we're we'll we'll do it again soon. At least she know? got some steps in. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, back to uh, Mike Chisholm. So this is your yes, this is your second marriage, then I assume. Correct. Yeah. Did you have any children in the first marriage? No. No. Had any children no. in the second marriage? Well, yeah. So the boys. That's how I'm a grandfather, right? Because, uh, and I mean, I'm I'm right on the same, you know, as the step parent. I came in as the friend. I came in flat out, told both boys, "Look, I'm not trying to come in and be your dad. I'm going to be your friend." In fact, you're probably going to like me because if you ask my opinion, I call it straight down the middle and I have no problem. If I see, you know, mom being unfair or whatever, I'll, I have no problem saying it. And, and, uh, and so they liked that a lot. And I can count <laughs> on one number of disagreements that we've had over the years. We're just, those two boys are my best friends in the whole world. And, uh, and that, uh, that little girl is just my, that granddaughter is, she's just my absolute everything. She's my, mm -hmm. oh. She's the best. But so I didn't have kids, but when she was born, did I mean, you, so well you yourself have you ever had kids? No. 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 Oh, okay. But Alara, Alara is such that there's no void whatsoever. I mean, I was there, well, I was in the delivery. Neither, room neither have I. And neither have I, yeah. and I'm 84, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, well, at least we're helping keeping the parking spaces available. You know, <laughs> that. Uh, 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 as long as we're asking this question, uh, uh, Francine, mm. uh, you're married, aren't you? Yes. Uh, how long? Uh, this one, uh, this is my second marriage, 13, uh, 12 years. Do you notice um, a commonality here that everybody's been married <laughs> in once so far? Mandatory. Yeah. It's mandatory. <laughs> oh, Pam said she's not. No, uh, well, I'm, he's I'm, only been married once. I'll tell you. Uh, uh, I bet uh, our good friend up here, uh, uh, Charlene Solis, you've only been married once, right, Charlene? One time, but my husband is the second marriage, but I've only been married one time. 
Okay, so and how long have you two been married? 43 years. See, that was my my mom and stepdad. They were married so long, but both they the you know first one didn't take very early on. So they were married like 44 years. Wow. That's wow. good. He got it right with Charlene. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's successful. But anyway, Francine, so this is your second marriage or first? Yes. Yeah. And yes. and uh, uh, why did the other one fall apart? Because uh, we just grew apart and he he wanted to have kids and I really kind of didn't. And and I was like, it was more like his life was more important than mine. You know, I was like sort of following him around, you know. Yeah. Uh, he, we moved uh, to a really small town mm -hmm. uh, in Western New York, where there's like really nothing for me to do. And, you know, so I kind of got bored and, you know, just, I was like, I was not the one to initiate the divorce, but I sort of caused it, you know, by just right. checking so out. How, how long were you married? The first time, six years. Oh, six years, only six years. Yeah. Well, how, then, now, how about this one? Uh, 12 years but we were together for like 15 years before oh okay and he he just kind of did you know i didn't really think about it but you know what we did speaking of why you would want to get married uh, at some point uh we, we started we were living together for about five years at this point and i said well what happens if you go to the hospital and I can't see you? And first of all, he said, well, why am I in the hospital? Not you. But, <laughs> you know, no, so, but that's a very good point. You know, yeah, I said, uh, because I wouldn't be next, next to Ken and I don't, you know, so I said, why don't we become domestic partners? So we did that. We went down to city hall and there he is seeing people getting marriage licenses and things. So, <laughs> so then we have I'll say now we I, I'm fine now at this point I'm like I gave up on you know this guy wanting to get married I'm I'm fine and then about five months later he I said um oh you know like next year we'll it was like near Christmas I said next year we'll do this he says yeah well maybe we'll also get married and I just didn't move <laughs> he to move you know and then we then we got married and once he was on board he was on board but he was like he he'd never been married before, so he, you know, he'd never been married before. That no, he'd yeah. never been married. Very unusual, I know. <laughs> Paula, you were only married once, right? I was only married once. Once, and how long was we it? We were how, we how were long? very, we were very good together. We grew we actually grew up together in a way because um, we met young, um, and um, we did well. Yeah, these, yeah apparently. You know, and uh, uh, Marjorie, <laughs> well, if Marjorie yeah. were here, she'd probably agree with everything you just said. You know, uh, she knew your hu husband probably. When she, she met him. I don't think that that uh, um, I mean, I know that she she met him. I don't know that she knew him. Yeah, uh, very much. Um, I met I, I was a freshman in college. He was a senior and he had been in the service. So he was an older man of five years older than me. <laughs> So, um, and it was the days when, when, you know, you, 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 you couldn't live together. I mean, it, that was out of the question. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you just didn't do that. So, um, we fell in love and, and we got married. I was not even 21. I ha I remember my father had to take us to the, uh, accompany us to the city hall for the license because I wasn't even 21. Um, but, um, there's no such thing as a perfect marriage, but we had a good marriage and, um, I miss him very much. He 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 died seventeen years ago. Wow, yeah. seventeen years ago. Yeah, huh? yeah. He he um, he had lung cancer. Yeah, he was, a, he was a smoker. Smoker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we know better now. You know that that's the incredible part about it. I can't when I see some kids smoking, and I, I just want to go stop it. You know, but to begin with, that isn't hip anymore. You know, it used to be when I had a cigarette in my hand, I was sophisticated. Oh, abs absolutely. Mm -hmm. I remember practicing in front of a mirror. I mean, you know, that's just like Betty mm -hmm. Davis and all that, you know. It's yeah. My mom, my mom, my dad was a smoker. My mom told me one time that she tried, she goes, I tried to smoke. I just did, I couldn't do it. I didn't like, it. you know, back in the 60s, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But then me, my brother, or sister all smoked. 
because oh, yeah. my, my dad got lung cancer too and passed away, but it was apparently not the kind of lung cancer you get from smoking. Oh, huh. that's what my sister told me. I don't, I don't know how that well, works. I mean, what do you get? How if he smoked, he could have gotten it from smoking. exactly. I don't know why you know? she why that was a thing, but yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, we lost a lot of people. A lot of people. The, uh, I think the average life of, of people now is is older just simply because there wasn't smoking involved. Mm -hmm. In the old days, there was smoking involved, and, and people died much younger, you know? Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, I think John Wayne didn't make it to 70. Uh, that's so mm -hmm. funny to think. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. but, Crazy. But it, we didn't know we didn't know at that point about smoking. You know, for a while there, the way they pushed smoking, it was like uh, you know, as they say, it was a very. Well, they show pictures of doctors of doctors doctor smoking. Yeah. Yes, in the doctor's office, they were smoking. I remember my doctor smoking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, I I quit after 20 years of smoking. How, Marjorie, how old were you? You were about 20. I started at 13, but I didn't learn to inhale till I was 16. Yeah. So I just kept it in my mouth and poured it out. Wow. So you never, you, you really didn't smoke until you were 16, because inhaling is smoking. Yeah, and then I was three packs, of, three and a half packs a day till I quit. Holy smoking. moly. Oh, she doesn't take anything easy you know I mean, she, she does everything you know True. yeah uh, yeah right uh how many people here at one time or another smoked mm. see see everybody smokes and, back and, then. i have never smoked in my life really neither i've never really? smoked wow mm -hmm. that's great how many drinks do you think i've had in my life alcohol Drinks? Five. Thirty-seven. They were supposed to guess. Five. Oh, I was going to say thirty-five. Five. Five. It might have been less. Mm -hmm. You don't know, like alcohol? I had that this weekend. <laughs> well, no, even my problem was with alcohol is that I just didn't like the taste. And I didn't like the way it made me feel. Me too. Uh, yeah, same, right? Same, Friends, same. You had the same thing, right? Yeah. Oh. Like, when I was younger and I wanted to get high, I smoked. Really? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I, mean, I, smoked, I smoked weed. Also, I'm a Jewish mm. male. Jewish males usually don't drink. Mm. Well, my father was a real yeah. drinker. He's a musician. Mm -hmm. so, so, musicians drank because they were in clubs, and then people would go, to you know, make uh, make their girlfriend think they were a big deal. Buy the buy the band a drink. Mm. So that would go on about five times a night. And by the time he was through working, you know, he he learned how to really hold his liquor. He could hold it better than anybody. Um, but at one point in his life, he suddenly noticed he he never felt he got drunk. Okay, but all of a sudden one day he noticed he was getting drunk, and he didn't like that. So he just quits, quit drinking. Just boom, like that. You know, there's a stereotype about that that uh, uh, Jewish people don't uh, are not don't get to be alcoholics. Jewish men don't drink. Well, but but uh, you know, I talked to a recovering person one time, and he said that I've, I've seen plenty of Jewish guys at the AA meetings. Although <laughs> I must say that 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 uh, cocaine is more of a Jewish drug. <laughs> a Jewish drug. It's uh -huh. a <laughs> What's a Jewish drug? <laughs> yeah, what's a I have no idea. Oh, sure. <laughs> cocaine. Meanwhile, we never have admitted what meatballs have in them. <laughs> or lots of balls have in them. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I wonder if they have uh, to. Uh, Jewish males don't drink much, but Jewish women do because they're married to Jewish men. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh I, I don't know you know i just never drank i never liked the taste of the stuff and uh uh I, i'm beer i i've done beer on a couple of occasions and the only thing i found about beer is on a hot day on a really hot day uh it uh it's okay you know it it quenches your thirst 
Oh, I'll tell you what, I did drink more than five times because I used to go to a beef and buy a uh, um, um, an aperitif called yerbas, which is herbs, means herbs. Mm. Yerbas abisinko, Ibiza, Ibiza herbs, and they're they're made on the island and they're you know turned into kind of an alcoholic beverage. And I used to drink those on the beach. That was very nice, you know. Mm. D- drinking, nah. You know, now I had I had a cocaine usage that went on for a while. Yeah, what else? <laughs> what else was I addicted to? Anything? That's what that was about it, actually. And I don't know if I was addicted because one day I just stopped. You know, so an addiction is something you find it hard to stop. So I was just uh, I was an aficionado. <laughs> is that what they're calling it now? An aficionado, <laughs> cocaine aficionado. I have I have a contribution to the conversation that has to do both with my Jewish friend and drinking. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, my best friend Mike is uh, 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 he was adopted into a Jewish family, and uh, <clears throat> years and years and years ago. He introduced me to one of the greatest products on the entire planet. I don't even know the name of it. I just know it's Jewish wine, and it's so sweet. It tastes like Welch's oh, grape. So oh, gosh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're talking about Regina Shevitz. Marjorie Craig. There you go. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. And I will tell you this. All of my best friend, uh, Mike's father, and all of his friends are all part of the Jewish community. They drank that stuff like oh, fish. You know they what we do with Manischewitz? What, they, what, what you should do with Manischewitz yeah. is you should take it, you should put it in an ice cube tray, put little popsicle sticks in it. <laughs> so it use it as popsicles because you won't be able to tell the difference. It tastes like Welch's grape juice. And we nice. were yeah. delighted by that growing up. We thought it was the greatest thing in the world because it tastes like uh, uh, Welch's well, grape I, juice you know, that makes I, you walk I, funny. I, when I talk about getting drunk, I, I have to admit, I did drink a little more when I was a kid because we would have a Passover mm-hmm. and then they would keep handing, my, they always thought it was cute to hand the kids some wine. They pour a little water in it to thin it out, but that's what I would drink. And a lot of times it was Manischewitz, you know. Which is the worst. Yeah. It tastes like grape, grape juice. It just tastes like grape juice. <laughs> it tastes like sweet grape juice. No. Oh, totally. I, 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 learned how to, I learned how to drink wine. In Europe, yeah, that, that yeah. was that was, that was a, like a major part of my education. Mm. Yeah, where where I'm from, we're in wine country in Canada, and it's like there's a whole culture behind it. There's like a hundred wineries just out this window here, and yeah. uh, it is it is uh, you learn how to drink it, and then it becomes a a wonderful, wonderful experience. But absolutely, I just well, uh, I, have you ever been to Jewish wine country? Jewish wine. Well, anywhere there's Jews, there's whining going on. <laughs> <laughs> They're big whiners. <laughs> That's like the, there's an old Jewish joke about. Did you hear about the latest wine? And what's the what's the name of the latest wine? Marvin, take me yeah. to Florida. That's an old joke. <laughs> really? It's a good I one. It. You delivered it perfectly. That was awesome. Yeah. I've good never time. heard it before. Well, we, we haven't asked. We haven't, you know, we uh, he hardly ever talks, but John Ewing, we, we got to get some stuff out of him. Yeah, come on. Well, how many guys have you and Mary, John? Um, I, I had my hand up. I'm on my third marriage. Really? Oh, yeah, wow. and I've been with her for 35 years. Whoa. And, uh, wow. We went to the same grammar school in San Francisco, and we used to see each other. She was a toll collector on the bridge, and I had a restaurant in Sausalito, so that's how it started. And then it's yeah. just been, uh, most of the time, just fantastic. Um, the other true, the first one was uh, mm-hmm. she she. We had a relationship with the guy that built our house. That was a herder. And then the second one I take full responsibility for because I worked my restaurant for five years and became not the best husband and wife. I mean, father, actually. So this one's been a real charm. We get along with all of them except the first one. Uh, Maureen's been great with the children because she never had children. So I've been very lucky after, like you said, Alex, the young romantic love was great, but then it just faded away. So, yeah, it was good. I mean, we don't know what we're doing, really. 
you know. <laughs> and I, I have to say this, and it's gonna it's gonna have repercussions this evening. Here uh, it comes. <laughs> but I'm very lucky. I met up with Marjorie at this point in my life. Yes, you are. <laughs> I didn't ask for that. <laughs> I say something nice, and then you have to like, you know, do something. No, that... I gave you a compliment. Oh, <laughs> that what that was? Okay, all right. What's for dinner tonight? Yeah, Chinese. Uh, it just arrived. When was the last time you ever made dinner? It's been a while. I stopped cooking around COVID. Yeah, COVID, you quit cooking. No, and, in the middle, about about a year or so in, I quit cooking. And it's not that I expected her to cook for me. That's not, you know, I, I always used to say to her, you know, you don't have to make dinner for me. And uh, I didn't. And I made dinner sometimes, <laughs> occasionally. But you occasionally. you like cooking. You really like I used it. to. I used to like painting. Hmm. Yeah. Do you get tired of cooking standing up, Marjorie? I just got tired of it. I mean, I have cooking equipment like you wouldn't believe. She's got, she's, got, this, she's got stuff you'd find in a restaurant at an yeah. army base. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she she yeah. makes soup. She, it's in a big, huge cauldron. And uh, uh, she and makes it, and then, my then she st she's got these little plastic uh, quart uh, things that she bought a whole bunch of them. She just fills them up with soup and hands them out to people. Yes, Jeff. So uh, I, I love to drink uh, wine, but uh, but I'm not supposed to have so much anymore. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I cooked last night. And it includes a lot of wine, and it was uh, paella. Oh God, that's right. great! And uh, it's one of those did things that the, I can cook. I did love any Spanish. of the wine make it into the food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put it in um, in with the um, chicken soup. Yeah, the stock. <laughs> I, you know, but paella is just a, a really a, a Spanish stew of sorts because yeah. really you put in the paella those things which were lying around the house from previous meals, you know, yeah. and it's very good. I mean, I'm, paella in Spain is wonderful. Yeah. Only More if you don't extra put, stuff. Go to Spain alone, they won't serve it to you. Oh, hey, you're going away. Bye, Bye man. Man. Goodbye. Hey, yeah. I, uh, I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, uh, we, we, you have a class. Yeah, Take care. Good seeing you, sweetie. Bye. Bye. He's okay. the only one in the group that has class. I like. I like that. I like that you say y'all even in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I just noticed. That uh, because we hardly pay attention to him till the end of the show, but I noticed that Edward Berger is wearing a Carvel t shirt. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Carv, uh, how many, uh, anybody, oh, Francine, you're from New York. Yeah. Oh, I can oh, remember from the ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Is Pauline, that the soft, you disgusting ice cream? It, it was a soft ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen, they have this one birthday cake called Fudgy the Way. Fudgy the, right. Fudgy the Way, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Believe me, you know, there, you know, Mark is like part? soft ice cream, but if you're going to have soft ice cream, Carvel was pretty much it, wasn't it? That, I mean, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Are they still around? Are they still? I yeah. Have, yeah. Really? Marjorie, I'll have to take you into a Carvel. They're really it's good. All right, I pass. It's really <laughs> Marjorie. Yeah. Not my why thing. Not, at your age, why not try something new? I leave like heroin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've thought about that. You know, that at my age, eighty-four, it's a good time to start heroin. You know, By the time I baby. get any kind of appreciable habit, I'm going to die anyway. <laughs> So, you know, I mean, I may as well try all the drugs. They told me, hey, don't do that, you know, because I have was... a whole list of drugs I take every day. Maybe you can try some of them. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Uh, the uh, Ramble's great. Don't get me wrong. The Ramble is great, but I want Alex Bennett's magical ma- magic carpet ride. That would be the best. <laughs> what? what? Magical carpet ride? Yeah. Magic carpet ride, man. Yeah. Go on the trips and then uh, and then and then do a show. Oh yeah. <laughs> we, we we've got Marjorie. We have to make arrangements to go on a vacation. Well, I'm ready. Even though I can't walk that well, we'll uh, we'll do it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Get one of those scooter things. You'll be fine. Well, I'll tell you what's <laughs> great now. You know, I've been having this trouble uh, walking only because of walking. Back. Well, I'm going to physical therapy. Are you happy? Never started. Well, because they told me not to come <laughs> until the 30th. Okay. Just saying. Anyway. You two are. This is great. <laughs> anyway, so uh, um, um, uh, I want to go on vacation while I can still walk. But the, oh, what I was going to say, we have these friends. They have a cat. Every now and then, they want to go away on vacation. Where do they leave the cat? With us. So the yeah. cat is now with us again. Uh, mm. And what this cat loves to do is when I start walking down the hall, it starts walking in front of me, trying to trip me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what cats do. Yeah, my, the, the cat well. trying to kill me is what but the right cat now is. the cat is depressed. Cat's depressed. Yeah, it, 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 she looks, doesn't she look depressed? I don't know, she hasn't eaten in two days. Oop. That's wow. depression. <laughs> That'll do it. That's depression. Maybe he doesn't yeah. like coming to Alex's house. That's the no, she, actually she likes this place because it, it, it she lives in a one bedroom apartment. Here she can run down a hallway, although she doesn't run anymore. Mm. You know, she can jump up on the there pl- things to do, places to go, places to hide. You know, in the closet for two days. Yeah, oh. <laughs> maybe next time we'll send the cat over to Giller's house. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Don. Hey. Oh, wow. This tag is Look in on us. It's Don Giller. Yeah, where's the stack? <laughs> oh, it's actually less now. It's smaller. Have you been he cleaned up? He cleaned up. Have and you been busy going? Gil- we guilted him into it. What's on t- what what's that thing that's on the top? Yearbook? Oh, oh wow. The high school yearbook. Oh, junior high. Wow. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Are really? Uh, no. uh, Which one? No Which one? kidding. Oh, I'm watching no. after yeah. <laughs> The black guy isn't you. Is the, guy with <laughs> the, the guy with glasses? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I think yeah. I know that guy. <laughs> All right. God, I wouldn't even know that was you, Geller. I really <laughs> wouldn't know. What happened to the glasses? You wear contacts now? Uh, cataract surgery. Ah, see, yeah. Ah, that yeah. took care of it, huh? <clears throat> Let's throw him some pictures of the afro. <laughs> He's still uh, not. He's I'm preparing an upload of uh, Phil Donahue on Bob Costas from 1968. Oh, oh, oh I forgot oh, about that. Oh. Yeah, we uh, lost. Uh, we lost. Um, Phil Donahue. Phil Donahue. Yeah. He, he was great. He really He's was. He's a giant. He was awesome. Yeah. I I don't know. He married that. Hey. What? Well, I do like good. Marlo for only one reason. St. Jude's is a great <clears throat> hospital. We're thinking of leaving what money we have to St. Jude's when we die. Okay. Nice. Uh, because I, I, I've I looked them up and I've checked them out and they have a really good reputation. Yeah. They do, as opposed to all those other places that show you kids who are sick, and they, it's it's worse than the ads with the puppies who are been beaten. Oh my God! Yeah. Everything's in slow motion. Oh yeah. God! <laughs> but you know what? What I'm thinking of is when I watch those ads with the with the dogs, right? And they're all looking pathetic, and like they need a good meal, and like they shouldn't be chained up. I'm going. <laughs> Why shoot the video? Why don't you unchain them and feed them? (laughs) You know, and I'm supposed to send you money because you're chaining them up and not feeding them? You know, so, I mean, uh, how pathetic do they have to look before I give money, you know? Yeah. Um, 
I've, so you're I've working. Up, what? Oh, what were you gonna say? I I, I put up uh, a while ago a video of uh, uh, Danny, Marlo, and Donahue uh, spit takes on Letterman. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Spit takes. Yeah, uh, because 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 uh, uh, Danny yeah. was the expert spit taker. Yeah. And then Marlowe came on, and then uh, uh, Donahue's spit take was apparently much better than than uh, than Marlowe's. Oh, really? Well, uh, he uh, Danny Thomas did the ultimate spit take, didn't he? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's a spit cake. I'm going to tell you a quick story here. I had a, a friend of mine. About the table? Yeah, who was a friend of <laughs> mine who, who you just almost blew it, who... Um, <laughs> went to work she was a comedian she, comedian uh and uh, her father was an animator at disney did the witch wicked witch from snow white an animator yeah 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 he was an animator that was my spit take oh i see <laughs> and i wish i could remember her name right now i but, you know if i if i not pressured i can remember names but anyway she was. She got a job working for Danny Thomas on his last TV show, where I think he played a doctor or something like that, as a writer. And uh, she one day went into Danny Thomas's office because she was called to come see him, and she had to wait for him. So she sat on the couch, and in front of her was a glass coffee table. Yeah. Now nobody's laughing because nobody knows the rumor. I know. I know the rumor. Oh, you know the rumor? Okay, tell them what the rumor is, Char uh, Charlie. He used to love to have hookers take a dump on that coffee table. He'd be under the table. Yeah. Mm. What? Yeah. That's the rumor. Everybody knew that story about Danny Thomas, except <laughs> you guys. And when she saw this glass coffee table, she got up and walked out. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think he learned to be so good at doing spit takes? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, but like, you know, I got to tell you, uh, uh, Shecky, one of the most memorable moments Shecky and I had is we went to St. Jude's just so we could see Danny Thomas's, um, you know, uh, crypt where he was buried, mm -hmm. buried at St. Jude's Hospital. Uh, he's buried there? Huh? Yeah, he's buried there. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. weird. Well, not weird. Not weird because he founded St. Jude's Hospital. Yeah, and uh, um, I think if he could speak to have as many hookers as right. he wanted, it's okay by me. He yeah, me too. St. Jude's wow. Hospital, and that's really, uh, I think, a great legacy to leave behind. You know? And no kid that's ever treated there ever gets a bill. They, but yeah. more than that, I just heard in Gaza they sent people over. To take care of the kids in Gaza. Wow! Wow! Yeah, wow. yeah. So I'm a big fan of St. Jude's Hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, me too. And and Marla, <clears throat> she was a terrible actress, but I mean, she did that. She supposedly was very hard. Like Marlo, hey. Well, her yeah. Her husband died. Her husband died. Yeah, yeah. They were married a long time. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. I can't. I I can't remember how many years. But uh, at least at least forty something like I, that. I heard forty four. And you know how many that is in dog ears. I mean, <laughs> a lot. Marlo was that girl. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, she was. Not just any girl. That girl. Yeah. That's, that's what the that's what the Beatles' "Hey Jude" was named after. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, you can't fool me with that, Mr. <laughs> Diller. The timeline doesn't match up. Yeah. Yeah. It, Details. It, yeah, but anyway, it's like, uh, it's all to make it better. No, it's not. Uh, Someone in the uh, Letterman podcast Facebook group posted the uh, the Donahue Letterman interview. Again, I hadn't watched it in a long time. It was really good. It was really yeah, good. Who who put it up? I don't even know. I just saw someone threw it up there, and I didn't oh, watch it. I put it up. Was it you that put it up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank in you. The group, 
<laughs> oh, geez, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't realize that. You know, you're scrolling uh, around with the wrong guy here, Chisholm. <laughs> no, oh, a guy by the oh no, no, sorry, it's on your channel. I'm sorry. Yeah, I I was confused by the question. You didn't post it in the Letterman Podcast Facebook group this morning. I would no, I would That's, never do that. I know. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. But no, it was on your channel. But it's such a it's such a it's a good interview anyway. It's worth watching if you like Letterman. And you want to do a little uh, tribute to Phil Donahue or well, something? I remember all about. Uh, on Letterman, they made a big deal about so many days until Phil Donahue was here. And, you know, they had this big ch giant chart and they kept Xing off the dates as it got <laughs> closer to Phil Donahue coming on the show. Well, well, not, not coming on the show, but but moving from Chicago to New York to do his own show at 30 mm -hmm. Rock. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought yes. it was about you were talking about Oprah. He did that with Oprah. Exactly what you just said. He did that with Oprah, but Donahue was something else. Did Oprah? Yeah, I always get Oprah and Donahue confused. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> did Oprah ever show up? Yeah. I thought yeah, she, she came was... back. Hmm. She came back after their uh, after their little dust up in '89 or whatever it was. She came back in. But Don, she came up just before, before she was starting the 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 play across Color the Purple. street. Yeah. 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 But uh, and then I, he did her uh, show as well. Mm, well, you know, that was a nice, fun feud going on, you know. But anyway, so anybody uh, have any I other? Did, I just want to say that that that, that um, I have my um, high school yearbook open to the page where Marjorie is, and oh, uh, oh. Uh -oh. The page yes. where Marjorie is. She, That's she the page where you were. Yet. She hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> can, we see it? can we see it? I don't know if you can see it, but I'll put it up. You hold it up to the camera. Where? Are we? Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. Up, 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 a little higher. A little higher. Up, okay. Okay. No, no. no put, it, put it back in. Put it back. Put yeah, it there. Holly, uh, Paula. Oh, there we go. Put it up, okay, put it now, up higher. The put higher, it higher, 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 and then over. No, that's higher. not right. You look like a guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just Where'd couldn't you, see it. I couldn't tell. Where'd you get that? No. Damn, where'd you get that haircut, Marjorie? That's what we wore. That's what that we was a page boy flip. That's, yeah. that's what it was called. Yeah. And we all wore it. Great. All wow. right. Here's right. Here, here's me. Where? Uh, where? And oh, there wow. you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like a hundred years ago, right? I kind of know <laughs> you. Marjorie doesn't look like Marjorie exactly. I mean, maybe then she looked like Marjorie. I, I thought the reverse. It didn't look like me, but I thought Marjorie looked like Marjorie. <laughs> I I had a whole, I had a whole thing I used to do. I don't know if any of you know who um uh, what's his name? Oh, God damn it. Yeah, How are we going to know who he is if you don't know who he is? <laughs> the guy who played the kid in uh, Jackie Coogan. Oh, oh Played the kid yeah. in uh, Charlie yeah. Chaplin's The Kid. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. he was considered the most adorable kid in the world. I mean, I yeah. fell in love with this kid. And mm -hmm. later on in years... Way later on in the years, he became Uncle Fester on the Adams family. <laughs> and I often wondered, what morning did he look in the mirror and go, what the fuck happened to me? <laughs> I had a, I oh, had a wait friend. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there we right. go. Oh, oh, well, oh. I <laughs> wow. Uh, are you a nerd or what? <laughs> uh was and still am yes yeah. very much so. now you held up a picture uh len yeah i was going to show you i was with uh, i saw greg proops last night at uh oh. he, he did whose line is it anyway in our town here so awesome oh, okay yeah he, he was well, actually i'm i'm gonna find my high me and my wife as i told you knew each other in high school so i have a picture i'll find it in a minute oh so, great uh, back great <laughs> I had a I had a friend whose grandson, little grandson, was looking at uh, her her um, at the pictures of her as a as a young woman, and said to her, "Grandma, what happened to your face?" <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we we found out today that John was married three times. 
Oh, there mm -hmm. we go. Oh, oh, that's oh, so sweet. What? Oh, very sweet pick. Yeah. yeah. And then we took the same exact picture in the same exact spot 35 years later. Oh, no. <laughs> oh that's nice. terrific. That's so cool. So how long have you been married this time? Uh, it'll be 10 in January. And John's been married three times, and the third time's charm, right, John? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Real lucky. And, uh, of course, uh, Edward Berger has never been married, right? That's right. <laughs> because every time he tried to whisper sweet nothings in a woman. <laughs> <laughs> they got laughing. Yeah. And, Don, have you been married at all, Don? Oh, I just got to jump back on this. It's five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we have time, Don. Yeah. <laughs> We're willing to stay after. Don, have you been married? No. Oh, okay. Well, that was a simple answer, wasn't it? <laughs> it's a loaded think answer. About it. Us that before. Yeah. yeah. Why, why haven't you been married? Just never, you know. He never leaves his room. <laughs> have, you been, have you been in love? I really don't want to get into it. Okay. No. Well, that's. I, I don't want to go any further. I. I want to remain Don Giller's close yeah. friend, close personal friend, C close personal. Friend. And and if you do get kicked out of your apartment, you're welcome to oh. stay. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, Marjorie. I've got some place to go. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll I'll hang up a hammock or something for because uh, there's no room there's no bed space or anything like that. <laughs> One of these days we have to go out to lunch, okay? Yeah, but you can't even walk. I'll walk. You can't even leave your apartment. I'll I'll <laughs> I'll take a cab over there. I'll take a car over there. Okay. Actually, I I uh, some people from Portland came by this Saturday, uh, and I actually had visitors. Wow! Really? Hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, it was. It dons apartment twice. I had to shower. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we better get going here. You know, it's getting mm -hmm. late, and Marjorie ordered dinner because she doesn't it arrived a half an hour earlier. Wow! Yeah, we're having Chinese food. You got the noodles? Yes, we oh, got the noodles. Nice. Yeah, we got the wonton soup and the ribs and uh, the oh, sounds good. The, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, whatever. We got it all. Yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, I want to thank Charlene for being with us. So nice of you to be here, Charlene. We she wasn't interesting to talk to today. She's only been married once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so boring. Yeah, forty six <laughs> years. I mean, come on, what's that to talk about, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I could ask her one question before we leave. So what do you think is your the main takeaway as what makes for a successful marriage? Love. Mm. Okay. I'll drink to that. My, 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 <laughs> my, my feeling is that it's not love, it's forgiveness. Well, that too. That you have the ability to forgive a lot of faults. Yes, oh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. my husband has all the faults and I don't have mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us, Marjorie. Say hello to your husband for me. I will when I see him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Len, good talking to you. Francine, wonderful with having you around. John Ewing, great. Um, Mike, Chisholm. <laughs> who did we lose? We lost somebody. Paula. Paula. Oh, yeah. Paula, thank you if you're listening. What um, happened to Paula? I don't know. Call her and ask her. Yeah, uh, Jeff Stein, thank you. Thank you to Charlie Wallace and, of course, to the fabulous, world famous Don Geller. Yeah. Don, Don Geller. Geller, God. Geller. Geller. Mm. Bye. And finally, <laughs> to sign us all off, here's Edward Berger to say, "That's all, folks. Bye, -bye everybody. Bye. See you next Thank week. you. Let's get together again. Bye, bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye.